Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about like uh, the um uh the hip uh the touch or like the whole body experience of VR uh headset and we are going to um talk about more like uh, the gear part of the whole body or full immersive experience. Yeah. Okay. So and I made a PPT. Let's see. Okay. So, oh shit. Okay. So, okay. Today we are going to talk about the same topic, the same book, Charlie Fink's Metaverse. And uh, this book is really good. And before we talk about like a VR, AR, the history of VR, and um, today we are going to talk about like the full body experience um, of VR. Okay, so when a user can reach out and touch a virtual object, the level of inversion rises. And uh, Facebook now is started to do their, um, de started to develop full feature VR gloves for um, Oculus Rift platform. And uh, uh, now we are going to see a lot of pretty cool examples of like a um, hip hiptics, like the touch side of VR. Uh, first one we are going to talk about is VR glove. VR glove is a really really cool glove. It looks like a transformer. Okay, so let's see this one. VR is involving, and you see like, wow. You see like the, the, the gloves, the gloves is really, really cool. And uh, okay, so basically, if you see that, you can see like, um, uh, you can get the feedback. Uh, for example, like if you hold a ball and you smash it and there's like a, some sensors, there are some sensors will uh, react, give you feedback. Uh, about the force so uh, it's really cool it's kind of like a um, a way to um, immerse or the way to kind of like use the touch your sense to um, get the sense of the virtual world so they have like a uh, sensors provide providing like force on each hand so they have a lot of different like sensors and then different sensors will give the feedbacks according to your virtual world. And when giving feedbacks, then uh, you can totally feel it uh, when you are uh, in the virtual world. Okay, so yeah, yeah, five pounds of force. So it's like a really, really, you can enjoy it or you can um, feel the real things. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I list out the um, the website on my PPT so you can uh, take a look about this company. It's pretty cool. And uh, um, yeah, so this is like their force feedback. Grab the ball and you can totally feel there's a ball inside your hand according to because the glove has the sensor and make the pressure on your hand. Yeah, okay, so check out VR glove. And uh, yeah, and the next one is really, really cool. It's called Ultra Haptics. Ultra Haptics is using like the sound wave, sound wave to, um, uh, to control the, f the feeling of, uh, or like to con to to make the pressure of your hands so for example they have a mat like a a, a device where um, they will generate some uh, force um, by using the um, sound wave so when you kind of like uh, touch it you see the holograph and then you touch it and the sound wave the sound wave will uh, generate the force to your hand so you can feel it. Yeah, this is like a just, I think this one is pretty crazy and cool. Okay, so let's see uh, Ultra 
uh, ultra haptics. Yeah, it's like uh, they use the sense touch. Um, they create a sensation of touch in the mid air, which means that uh, you can totally integrate with the interface. So in the future, the UX UI will be in the air. And I just read a book. I can show you the book. It's it's going to be the next one. The next book will be sorry, this one. Oh, sorry. This one is called Envisioning Holograms. Uh, inside this book, I read a little bit. Inside this book, it talks about like a um, in the future, uh, the program, the programmer, or like the designers will be half of the architecture, half of the designer, half of like a user UI experience. Like uh, um, they need to integrate with uh, nearly everything uh, in order to get the best experience inside the whole space. For example, like uh, when we see like ultra haptics, um, we can know like, yeah, you know, Basically, in the future, you touch everything on your hand in the midair, and it's all used like at the um, ultra wave. So basically, the world lead. Yeah. So if you wanna kind of put like texture for the shoes, you just drag the light bulb like the holographs, and put into the shoes. Yeah. That that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So this one is really really cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's see some applications. Yeah, so you can basically build everything in the midair. Yeah, and uh, for example, like this one, um, you use your gestures in the midair to control the car. So it's pretty cool. Like uh, there will be like a holographs interface on the midair. Yeah, like this. And then your hands can kind of like uh, doing some gestures uh, and uh, yeah, make the, the hand gesture and it's just like the interface on your phone or on the um, a tabloid or on the interface. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's cool. You can totally use your hands to um, kind of interact with the uh, interface yeah so it's pretty pretty cool and it's using sound uh, sound wave which is like wow wow let's see their trailer okay cool touch this field yeah so you see like a um, yeah basically you integrate with the interface and the interface will look like holographs. For example, like a cooking. Yeah, like the interface will grow up and then becomes uh, uh, holographs. And uh, if you wanna uh, kind of like uh, uh, make the fire bigger, and then you're kind of like doing like a weird gestures in the midair. And uh, yeah, the yeah, it's just amazingly crazy. It's yeah, everything is just in the midair and yeah it's holographs interactive yeah so yeah I mean yeah you see like the interface in the car yeah so basically you don't need to touch the screen you just need to do the gesture in the midair yeah that's a pretty cool like user experience and uh, 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 UI design yeah in the future maybe all the UI design should be 3D as well. So it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see the next one. The next one is called Heart Light VR. Uh, Heart Light VR allows um, users to feel like a VR environment. You see like the, the suit. They wear a suit and there's a button to kind of like activate uh, the whole suit. Uh, this I think this is pretty cool because this tie ups to the later on we are going to talk about Tesla suit and then the void. The void is one of the coolest theme park, VR theme park in the world. Yeah. Okay, so 
Let's see hard light VR. Hard light VR is um, um, for example, when you are playing VR games and you wear that suit, and uh, if you got hit and uh, this will vibrate and give you the feedback, the suit will give you the feedback. So you will feel like, for example, you got a sore clash against your armor and this part, you can see the vibration and you can feel it. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. And let's see the demo. Yeah, okay, so from here. Yeah, it's totally like a, um, a military armor. Yeah, when you feel, you, you can feel like there's an arrow just like shot through your heart or something. So it will give you like a feedback. I think this is pretty cool. Okay, next one is another super cool gadget. Uh, this one is called Tesla suit. Tesla suit, I don't know, everything has Tesla in front, I assume it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So uh, now with haptics feedback, motion capture, climate control, and biometry um, systems, temperature control systems, uh, this is um, a super, super, super cool and really looks really sleek. Okay, Tesla suit. Oh yeah, looks just cool. Okay, so. Uh, first one, it has the um, haptic feedback system. So when you play VR, AR, AMR, and uh, um, it come, they, there there are like some elect, like electrical simulation. So when you got hit, and uh, this can uh, stimulate your um, your body, so you will feel it in the motion capture system full body motion tracking with high precision, including software. Okay, so uh, like uh, in each joint, uh, those are the motion tracking systems. So you can basically, it, it can basically track your motion. And uh, okay, so temperature. So for example, if you got hit by a fireball, and those like on your chest and uh, your chest. So the temperature will like raise really high and make you feel so hot. So you feel like uh, like the world you see in your gears, like in your um, VR gears, it's the same as your body, uh, it's the same as the feedback you receive. Yeah, okay, so by, uh, by yeah, it's really cool. It's like a, th th this suit is just too cool. They have like four functions, which uh, temperature and also like collecting all of your body metrics, working as a motion capture suit, and also like give you like a feedback, electri electricity or something electrify like your body. So I think this suit is pretty, pretty cool. So you can develop games, and uh, I think the previous one, uh, they, they look like gimmicky and military, but this one looks like a superhero. Yeah, so I think this one's lighter, absolutely cooler, and more like a new skin. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so, okay, so let's see the void. The void is one of the coolest, uh, uh, VR theme park in the world and it's a whole body for immersive VR experience full of surprise so um, I remember I saw the void like the first trailer it's like a, you wear like your VR headset you grab your controller wear the whole suit and go inside like somewhere weird for example and then when you wear the goggle and you will feel like the virtual world is exactly the same as the reality. But the reality is like a concrete. And uh, for example, if there's a, uh, a lamp and uh, in the same spot as the real world, like the virtual world, you can 
grab a lamp, right? And uh, uh, but in reality, you grab a brick. Yeah, you grab a brick. So and when you walk to a certain place in a virtual world, it's like humid and there's like a bird singing. It's in the jungle, and in reality, it's probably a concrete, and with a little sprinkle, like water, and so you your physical body can feel the same as the feedback uh, in the virtual world. So when you see everything in virtual world, they will transform into the reality. But this, the maze and uh, um, the plot, the plot, it's uh, the reality was designed according to the, uh, the, uh, uh, the virtual world do you see yeah so it's really really cool the boy and right now it's even cooler okay okay Hello. I'm recording <laughs> okay so what's the void the void is a whole body for fully immersive VR experience full of surprise at every turn with you and your family and friends okay so let's see like you can touch it and uh, bring your friends connect okay. Sorry, that's me. fine that's fine don't worry yeah okay so you can team up with your friends in the void theme park and then uh, you can smell it uh, yeah uh, for example if you are in the cave and you are holding a torch and you can feel like the temperature, the heat inside a cave and the humid, everything. It's like a pretty cool theme park. Yeah. And now they are going to have a Star Wars, Star Wars. Yeah, let's see. The Star Wars. Yeah, this is super cool. Yeah, so basically you wear the helmet and you and your friends can go inside like a, some a, abandoned factory full of sensors. And so, but you know, in reality, it looks so ugly. But in the virtual world, when you see the virtual world, it's exactly like mapping out like a, in the virtual world way. So uh, you can feel yourself inside the the uh, the virtual world yeah yeah so see like in Star Wars it looks like that but in real world basically you are kind of like a uh, you are wearing yeah you are wearing a helmet and ready to join the physical world yeah, okay. Let's see. Another one is called Birdly VR. From a bird's eye view over the world's great uh, cities and mount, uh, monuments to a bee's eye view of the inner working of the com uh, like an engine or like a, some Jurassic landscape. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like a, you are lying on a weird kind of table or birds feeling and your hands it's like a, you can flapping as your wings and there's a fan in the front so you can feel the wind yeah okay so let's see like a uh, birdly yeah okay so birdly VR okay so this is a really really weird chair or like table and you just wear your VR cargo and yeah so this is what you see yeah so you see and then like a um it has like some unbalanced because you are a bird right so you can kind of like a uh, lean towards right side lean towards left side and there's airs in the front so you can feel the wind Okay. Okay. Cool. 
cool. So basically, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's like that. This is the side view of it. <laughs> There's a fan in front and、uh, your wings, and then、uh, your whole body was lying on this cold birdly machine. It's really really cool. Okay, so、um, the last one is called lip motion.、Uh, okay, so、uh, reach into virtual reality with your Bare hands, so lip motion is a really cool small device attached in front of your computer, and when you wear like your virtual reality、um, gadgets like the goggle, and you can use your bare hands and、uh, to kind of interact with the virtual、uh, object. So let's see. Okay, so this is super cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see this one. Okay, so basically, you can、um, just sit, and the the, the、uh, sensors will detect your hands. Okay, so let's see. Ah,、uh, yeah. So basically, you see your hands can totally bare hands. You don't need to wear any gloves. So, for example, if my hands is in front of the sensors, I can totally do a gesture. Yeah, so it's really cool uh, to uh, uh, use your bare hands as controllers. Yeah, but. Uh, I think all the gadgets they have like pros and cons.、Uh, for example, if something really、uh, accurate, for example, like、uh, detect all the hand、uh, gestures and all the finger, all the bones in your hands, like a really really accurate, it only can、uh, detect like the hands part. That can it cannot、uh, detect your elbow, your arms. It's only hands like. Ten fingers, this hand. Yeah. So、uh, when it become as big as like、uh, the whole suit, you only can detect your bone gesture, like、uh, your motion, your your movement. Yeah, it's hard to detect your fingers. So I think in the future, if we can integrate like every features into one, that would be super awesome. Like you can just sit here and. Use like a or like a the sound wave, ultra sound wave, and then you click interface. The whole reality changes, and you don't need to wear any gadgets or whatever. Or the gadgets is so light, so you don't feel any burden or you don't feel anything, and you just change reality and you have your second life, and、uh, yeah, something like that. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this time we talked a lot about like the、uh, the experience or like the、uh, whole like the gadgets, more、uh, whole body immersive experience, VR experience,、uh, those types of gadgets. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching and、um, yeah. So、uh, if you like. Uh, the app, so please subscribe my YouTube channel. And right now, I'm still experiment stuff. And next book, I'm going to next one. I'm going to introduce this book. This book is super cool. It's called Envision Holograms. Oh、uh, yeah, I mean, I read、um, a few pages of it, and I find out it's pretty cool. So yeah, so let me know if you、uh, have any、uh, questions or you have any feedbacks.、Uh, yeah, just write down your comments below, and、uh, yeah, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.